There was a time when my wife and I bought a, an old house and this old house needed um, septic, it needed electrical, it needed plumbing, it needed pretty much everything and that was just on the outside of the house. I could hire someone or rent a digging machine and do all the work myself. Oh yeah, did I mention that the area under the house needed to be dug out for a basement? This place needed a lot of work. The house was livable for now, so I chose to build my own backhoe or digger. All the backhoe designs that I found online were too big and clunky to use in tight spaces or under my house. The old towable design also looked like it would roll around when I was trying to dig in hard ground. I decided to take what I knew about hydraulics and design. I would design and build my own machine. My machine would need to be small and it would need to have a way of locking into the ground so it wouldn't roll around while digging. It can't be too heavy because I need to move it by hand. The machine will also need to be able to run on a gas engine or an electric motor. I also want it to be pretty fast. I came up with a base with wheels for moving the machine around. I would need a pretty big hydraulic pump to run a minimum of four cylinders. One for the boom, one for the crowd, and one for the curl. And I will also need a swing cylinder or swing motor. Oh, and what about the stabilizers to hold it in place? The thing is getting way too heavy and complicated. Back to the drawing board. I realized that the swing doesn't need much power. I could swing it with my legs and feet and the stabilizer could be manual. Now that I only have three cylinders to run, I can use a smaller hydraulic pump and still have a fairly fast digger. I was also able to keep the weight down so I can move it by hand. I made a few mistakes along the way. The digger that I built and used around my house was able to run on a four horsepower gas engine or a two horsepower electric motor that would plug into a standard wall outlet. It actually worked great. I know there's no such thing as a perfect machine, but I was able to do all my underground along with a new septic system. I pulled yards of dirt from under my house and I even put in a small pond. The best thing about this digger is that I still had it to use on the next project. I like my digger so much that I drew up a set of CAD plans so other people could build one too. I have had many successful builds over the years. I have even seen other people build a backhoe from my plans and take it to the next level. Sometimes a new idea or way of doing something is hard for some people to understand. I know that I have a great little digger that is fairly easy and inexpensive to build and will do as much or more than a towable backhoe. I have made some small changes to my digger that make it easier to use and build, but the basic concept is still the same. I also did an online build that comes with the plans. If you are interested in building one, go to thegreensmachines.com. If you have any questions, send me an email at thegreensmachines at gmail.com.